Hi guys, thought I'd use the best camera for this one. I have a parcel. Now, I know what's in it. <clears throat> and I've just realised I've put the camera in the wrong hand. <laughs> Let's just uh, swap that. <clears throat> right. So, uh, can I do this one handed? Very, do very dodgy doing it one handed. Second thoughts, just for my own safety, I better just put you down for a minute. Such a good start to the vlog today, isn't it? Oh, it has a parcel. Right. Open that up. Well, I can't complain that it's not well packed. <laughs> I've actually used the bubble wrap with the large bubbles. I'm just hoping I've got enough battery in here for at least to get this segment done. Oh. Power adapter is wrapped separately, right? It's a birthday reminder. Might have to turn that off. I don't need that just yet. I just want to have a look at the machine quickly. I might put the camera on charge for a little while. And, uh, and, uh, I can video it working in theory. Well, that's the theory or the plan. Might as well unwrap the um, power cord while I'm unwrapping everything. There we go. Oh, bloody hell, this is cold. The warehouse it's been in must have been cold. Right. We are getting there. So. Lovely little bag. There we go. And here we go. <laughs> We are still recording, aren't we? Yeah, so here we go. <coughs> Excuse me, clear my throat. Here we go. A Viglan Dossier 486 Advanced Sound. Let's see if I can just uh, pop the lid open. I'll push it up against that, and I'm going to slide, is it? That's quite a nice looking laptop. Intel inside, so it's got an Intel processor. It's got what looks like an LCD screen down there. Trackball for the mouse and two buttons. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> what have we got on this side? We've got what looks like the power jack. Yep, floppy disk drive. What have we got on the back? Is it audio in or out, or is that? Yeah, it is audio in, audio out, mouse keyboard port, external VGA, serial, power button, printer port, I should say, not serial. Oh, what's this? Does that slide up? Oh, it does slide up. What have we got under there then? Ooh. Never seen a port like that before. I'm not sure what that is. Close that again. Anything on this side? PCI MCIA slots. That little thing here that says slide. So what's under here? Is that the battery? Well, I've slid it. <coughs> I'm guessing that must be the hard drive cover. I'm going to have to have a look into that later, I think. Ow. Some black marks. I mean, it looked like a pen, actually, on there. I don't matter. I'm not fussed about that. It'll probably clean off. 
nothing on the front. It's hard to believe us from 1994, allegedly. Oh, I love the taped up repair on the um, power jack. <laughs> I look just like a Dell, actually. Hmm, so long as it works. No, not first. There's a 20 volt as the output. Oh, and 17 volts, so it does have two outputs then. Right. What I'm going to do. Preferably before the battery dies, is turn this off, get it on charge. The camera that is. Uh, see, I've never had problems receiving parcels from my Hermes, it's just uh, sending them. Anyway, I'll shut the camera off and just get some charge put into this if I can find the USB cable. And uh, I can't remember what I was going to do after that. Oh yeah, we'll power this up and uh, see if it works. So I uh, guess I'll be back later. Right, battery's charged. Um, Mum stopped up this afternoon, so. I've literally just got back in, but uh, before I get back to the laptop, I've just got a few things to put away. That's what I like about this new camera, I can easily start a video with it pointing at my ugly mug. Right. I need to get in here and blitz this kitchen at some point. I've just got some stuff I want to chuck in the freezer more than anything. Well, hopefully, I'm going to go to Mum's at the weekend. Probably Sunday, as always. Got some fish fillets. That's going to be for grub later. Let me just find a little hole to stuff them into. Um, there won't be no recycling centre trip. Just due to the fact that I've got no more near I'm skin. Broke till next week. Well, apart from a little bit of change I've got in my pocket, that's it. Oh, I was like, I need coke in the fridge. No, I've got plenty in there. I'm just gonna put my eggs in. Oh, I've only been gone an hour or so, Nemo. You missed me that much. Right. Well, I'm actually glad I had a bit of a play with that laptop before I decided to record this segment because even though it was shown booting in the eBay ad I couldn't get it to boot in fact it did nothing when I first turned it on it just sat on the screen Contr um, control alt and s to go into BIOS or press F1 to continue nothing happened when I pressed F1 so uh, instead of message the eBay seller going yeah, it don't work I thought maybe because I'm not familiar with these machines I'm not doing something. Which it turned out that was the case because it was set to, well hard drive was set to none so I had to set it, didn't know what setting to put it on so I just put it on auto. There was standard something else auto or none so I put it on auto. Um, still didn't actually boot but uh, because the battery is dead on this and the um, BIOS battery or CMOS battery is uh, likely to be dead as well. It wasn't keeping any settings so the time and date was wrong as well. And I remembered from my Windows 95 computer it will not boot unless I set the time and date first. Because that's got the same problem. And battery backup's gone. Um, so I did that on this and uh, away she went. Now, 
The other issue I've got with this, which is a relatively small issue, um, well at the moment it's a big issue, but the LCD does work. There we go. Um, the mouse doesn't work. I don't know why. It's selected in the um, system settings as trackball. And when I plug in one of these, I just get this horrible constant beeping so I can't connect one. Don't know why. <laughs> um, and I don't know any of the keyboard shortcuts. So what I've done, I found a website uh, that lists the keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to try those later. But I'm just going to turn it on just to show you it does in fact boot up. That does look like a black and white screen. There it is, it does have audio. So it's got a mouse cursor there, but when why all these come up when um, you boot it up, I don't know. Maybe I've got to go into settings and change that, but see. There's no cursor. All the buttons work fine, but there's no no mouse activity, so I don't know if it's failed. But, uh, I'll look into that, but aside from that, it does work. So uh, I can't quibble. I did leave positive feedback when I figured out it was actually me. I don't want to unplug it because I'm going to have to go through all the settings as well again. But, uh, I did notice some corrosion inside that when I had a look at the hard drive. Because uh, it was saying hard drive none so I didn't know if the hard drive wasn't being recognised. Um, so I'm going to actually open this up at some point. It doesn't look terribly hard. There's only a handful of screws on the bottom here. And I'll uh, give that a look and see if there is any corrosion or if it's just me. I hope it's just me. Uh, because if corrosion has gotten into the mouse device, that might be why that's not working. It looks like that sort of stuff that um, you get when a battery leaks. Uh, so I'm not sure if the main battery has leaked. I may pull that out actually to have a look. I'll just put it down there. Oi! Get off that. Scratch his bloody claws on the um, laptop thing. Well, it's not this. There's no green corrosion shit on this. Rechargeable battery. Replaced by nickel metal hydride battery only. Do not crush, puncture, incinerate or short external contacts. Well, there's a lot of dirt on these contacts. That might be part of the problem. I don't know. Um, there's two inputs on this as well. There's two positives and two negatives. I suppose the middle one is a sensor for charging. Mm. I might stick my meter on it and see if there is any life in it, but I might as well leave it off because it's not going to make a blind bit of difference at the moment anyway. Anyway, there we have it. The Viglan Dossier 486SM with working LCD display. It's telling me it's running from the mains. It's got a hard drive symbol. I'm not sure what that is in the middle. If you hear something like a uh, caps lock, get a little caps lock symbol come up. There's no indicator lights though. There's no power on indicator light or it's just as is. But I'm happy. That's the main thing. I am happy with it. So I did leave the seller positive feedback. The plug's a bit questionable. It's taped together but it works. That's all that matters. It works. Uh, so I think when I pack this away later, because I'm going to have to unplug it sooner or later, I may try and get the bottom off. Because if there is cor corrosion in there it's going to have to be cleaned off anyway. That might uh, help the mouse work. There might be a short in there or something. 
because really when you plug in a mouse to that connector on the back it should work should work anyway I'm going to disappear because it's nearly five o'clock I'm getting peckish um, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow yet. got a video to upload because I haven't done that yet. I haven't got any Lego content done yet. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Um, so I don't really want to build the walls on this until I've got the floor in. But uh, I've got that many projects other than Lego ongoing at the moment that I want to get done and sorted out of the way that I want to... And I want to concentrate on those before I go back to Lego, so... Well, apart from that job lot I have got waiting for me from a friend of mine. So, I'm going to turn the camera off. Got myself some chocolate bickies there. And uh, I'll come back later when I've done something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. We will uh, see. Right. I do have good news regarding the uh, Vigilant laptop, Vigilant, Vigilant laptop, Vigilant, something like that, this laptop, <laughs> yeah, I did get a mouse to work on it, it's decided it will work, the built-in mouse still doesn't want to work, but an external one does, that's good enough to use it, um, according to the thingy on the LCD display it is charging oh and I found these as well almost forgot I had the um, serial mice <clears throat> put GTA on because I'm going to have a play on that in a little while Nemo's stolen my chair so he's going to hate me in a little while because I'm going to boot him off um, but I was just thinking about lighting in this room a um, reason being I watched a video on my Lego channel this afternoon and uh, this guy in his Lego room has just changed his fluorescent lights to LEDs. Um, one, because they're cheaper to run, and two, um, fluorescent lights can do that with um, white plastic. It can fade it and make it go that browny tan colour. Um, it can take years for that to happen to plastic, but considering I do get sun coming through that lounge window as well during summer, even though I do reduce it by um, pulling the curtains across, otherwise it just turns into a greenhouse in here, even with the windows wide open. Uh, but I do have this light on for long periods of time. So I'm going to find something I can put up there that I can fit LEDs into. It doesn't have to be spotlights like that. It could be the spotlights on the round disc to go up there. It could be something else. Whatever I can find that uh, tickles my taste buds, as it were. I've just got a video uploading. And uh, I suppose what I can do, just for this segment of video, if I can uh, open this up. I did have this unplugged, because I was going to take it apart, but I'm really not in that sort of a uh, mood at the minute. That did hold the um, date and time settings, and all the other settings, so... But what I did different this time, I plugged the mouse in before I turned on the machine. Not while it was still on the post screen where it was a minute ago. And that uh, seems to have worked. And it's definitely a black and white screen. At least I've not found anything that can make it colour. There's a button here, F F9. I'm not sure what that one does. Nope, it's throwing a hissy fit at me. That's what it was doing earlier. I 
Now, I don't know why it keeps doing that. It was working. Let's just try again. And I won't touch it until it's fully booted this time. I'm just going to leave it alone. <laughs> Tell you what, when I first turned this on as well, the screen was so dark I thought that was folding, but it weren't. It's just got the um, brightness controls and contrast controls that I had to adjust. Testing extended memory. Doesn't take long for this to boot. Oh, I think this might be a 1994 machine looking at the dates that were coming up there. I'll zoom, wrong way. It's as far as I can zoom out. Now you see it hasn't done it. I've actually lost my cursor, where is it? Oh, that is sensitive. You see, this time it's worked. When I leave it alone, just let the machine finish doing what it's got to do, it seems to work absolutely fine. It's Program Manager. Is it that one I went into? No. Main. No. I can't remember what I went into to, uh... what I clicked on to um, look up most settings and whatnot. So, is it in main? Ah yeah it's main control panel there we go. So control panel's been around a long time. <coughs> That's better. That's a lot better. The tracking speed was too fast for my liking. There we go. Whee! I don't want to do that. I want to move it. What will that end my window session? Done it again. Got these three down here, and I don't know how to get anything back. Oh, hello. Ah, there we go. Whee! I'm getting there with it. I'm learning. Now I'm pretty certain there's no colour control on this. It's not this one, is it? Mm. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> you can invert the colours. You see that? <laughs> no, I think I prefer that the other way around. There we go. And I can turn monitor off, F12, or function in F12 turns the monitor off, or the screen off. There's volume control as well. I don't even think our desktop we had donkeys years ago that had 3.1 on it even had volume control. Yeah, I just thought I'd quickly 
show you that the mouse does work when it wants to. It's a very, very, very temperamental mouse on this. It's a shame the track will seem like the trackball don't work. That wouldn't even work if I unplugged the mouse, so. Yeah. It's alright. I haven't figured out how you turn it off other than holding the button down at the back. You can put it down here. I'll just hold it down for a little bit. And let go of it. It's the, uh, it's the only way I've seen to uh, turn that off. I haven't found like a shutdown button or anything, but I presume it doesn't matter with, um, with this. It doesn't really matter with modern computers either because they just go through the shutdown process anyway when you hit the off button nowadays. <sighs> My grammar sucked just then. <laughs> uh, I've got tags to do for this one. I'll do that in a minute before I publish it. I've got a cycle shop opening in town. Something I'd like to have done, but the job centre being the bloody job centre has never really wanted to support me in doing something like that. So, and not having the knowledge nor the funds to get started, you know, and renting a shop and whatnot. Has never managed to do it. But uh, someone has, so that's good. I can't remember where in town he's at. Oh, yeah, right at the bottom of town. That was it. In what was the RSPCA shop. But, uh. I do believe. That's the only sort of shop adequate enough, even though it's not in the town centre where everyone's likely to be shopping, but so it's not in an ideal location, but up in the main town centre there isn't really anything big enough to open a bike shop in. Actually there's one, but it's for sale, not for rent, so unless he wanted to buy it I suppose would uh, save on rental costs, but then you've got a mortgage to pay anyway. So I think that kind of defeats the object, personally. <laughs> oh. I don't know, I've never had a mortgage, so I don't know if the rent would be cheaper or if the mortgage would be cheaper. Or does that depend on the cost of the uh, building to begin with? Don't know, never bought a built property, don't know. Anyway, I'm going to disappear, probably play on some GTA, pour myself a drink because I'm getting thirsty. I always forget whether or not I've taken my evening pill or not. But, uh, yeah, I have because I emptied the tray. Um, oh yeah. The box the laptop came in, I found Nemo sleeping in it because it was leaning up against that carrier bag on the floor. Which I never show you the contents of, did I? I just I think in one of my videos I mentioned I'd uh, got a bag of cars given to me. And uh, oh, I did keep some. And this one was actually a, one of them, the Coca Cola one. The real thing, that doesn't actually look that old, and it's made by Matchbox. Never actually seen that one over here till now. Yeah, I did keep a few. I think there's some more hidden down there. But, uh, a friend of mine, give me all these. I don't think I'll keep any of these. Or any more of these that are in here, I should say. There's quite a few Hot Wheels, but... Some of these in here as well. 
Um, I think this is more than likely going to end up on the car boot stall if we actually do car boots as sellers this year. Like that. Seriously, I could actually crush that in my hand. No, I ain't kidding. So soft and shit these metal, these um, Chinese die-cast ones are. Just by pressing, actually I think that's plastic. That is, it's bloody plastic. I'm not even going to sell that one. I'm going to straight the fucking bin. I'm not even on taboo sale. I'm not going to sell anything that bleeding shit. What the frig? Another bit of shit, another bit of shit. <laughs> Speed car. Oh, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> Rolled off in the wrong direction. Wee. Yeah, there's a lot of hot wheels in here, but. Nothing that really catches my eye, not anymore anyway, I've taken all the ones that caught my eye out. What's this one? I didn't see this one though. I think it's a Corvette from the look of it. Dodge Viper? Where is it? Does it say on the bottom? Was I right the first time? Oh. Well then that look... Oh, it's a Dodge Viper. Doesn't say it on the bottom, but it does say it right there. All right, I'll have that one out. Didn't see that one. Another one. That is another one of them plastic ones. Piss off. Ugh. Aston Martin. Not got the foggiest. What's that one? Ford Focus. Oh. Nah. Well, uh, I'll um, chuck all these back in the bag. I'll chuck them all in a box if I could find one. But I'll have to live in a bag for now. Shit. Shit. Certainly some funky ones there, you know. Put them all in a box, 10p each, or, I don't know, five for a pound. That's not a good deal, is it? Dipstick. Hot Wheels really do some weird ones. Right, I'm going to turn the camera off and uh, I'll, uh, pop back a little later, as long as I don't forget, to uh, make the last part of the video. I've just spent five minutes looking for the camera again because I forgot I last used it down there. <sighs> I'm always losing the camera, always. Not after every use, but 
At least once a day I spend 10 minutes looking for the bloody camera. <laughs> right, I suppose I should stuff that box back under the bed. I've had a sorto in that box. It's just some random computer gizmos and peripherals and things. There's some more mice in there and they're all rollerball mice though. I think yeah, even this weird one. What's it got written on it? It's a Memorex. Actually, I'm not going to stick that in there yet because I want to roll the cable up. Uh, go in there though. There you go. So I'm just going to see if I can get that to work on the PC. I've got two of these. And I'm guessing the um, front piece lights up blue when it's powered up, but I've got no drivers. Well, no driver disc. Um, I can't actually find a make on this either to Google the drivers. So, but it's got this suction cup on the bottom. See that? Let's so just get it in better light. You just stick it on something, you clamp that down, that pulls the suction cup in. <laughs> I've actually found it's not a very good suction cup though. It's got built-in microphone as well. So if I really want to, I could set it up. And just plug the mic in, plug the USB in at the back of the PC, but it's not very... <laughs> Um, I was going to say, it's not a very long cable, but if I actually stand up the corner or something, it would be. That's, it's an idea, at least, if I can get it to work. I can't remember why I kept it, but I kept both. But yeah, it's just a tub I put a lot of uh, random peripherals in card readers, there's a couple of laptop docking stations in there and a few cables, a couple of wireless mice although I've only got the base to one in there, I don't know where the base to the other one is but I know both wireless mice work uh, yeah I need to go through this at some point as well, I really need to stop being lazy and go through some of these Bags. This is where I've cleaned up and I've just thrown things in the nearest bag or box or whatever. <laughs> That's probably one of the reasons I can't actually find anything. Never mind. Yeah, I was going to have to go back under the bed later though. I've just got to shift that lot. A few various VGA to DVR adapters. I've collected up and you can, you can get these things stupidly cheap on eBay. I think that's where I've got most of mine from. <clears throat> I know I've got at least a couple from there. One, I've got a big black one somewhere. I well, say a big black one, it's basically one of these in black and a lot longer. Um, but I don't know, it might be in use on the back of that. Because I know I've used a cut. No, it isn't. I used a um, proper DVI cable for that. that. I got from a friend of mine up the road. I got sort of four or five of them damn things. Because you get various um, types as well. Different. Are they all the same? Those two are the same. Oh, all three of those are the same. But you get some with less pins in than others. Oh, here's another one. Oh, that's the same one. I swear I had at least one different one. Oh, I've got some more somewhere, they'll turn up. They always do. <laughs> uh, my chocolate bickies. I've never had these. These are from Lidl. And they're by the brand Towergate. Mum doesn't like them, but Mum can be um, a bit fussier than me. Um, 
it's common for people with um, autism to be a fussy eater, but I'm kind of the opposite. I'm not really f a fussy eater. If it's edible, I'll eat it. <laughs> Including uh, most veg as well, to be honest. I do like a bit of veg on my plate. Oh, external floppy drive, that might as well actually um, go in that box. Oh, I've put the Dell floppy disk drive in there as well, the external one. Just out of the way. At least if it's in there, I should remember where it is. There's no guarantees on that one, though. <laughs> Those little speakers... Those little speakers there I'm likely to throw away. Uh, just for the simple reason I'm not going to use them because I've got proper PC speakers there. I've got those ones. Whoops, the camera's not liking me moving that fast. Um, I've got that Dell there. I know there's at least one pair coming with the PC I've got at a friend's old place. And those ones are actually crap. I think I paid a couple of pounds for them out of a charity shop, so... I don't know. I was actually going to chuck about it, but thinking about it... I've got some other small devices that I could use that on. So, I think... I'll pack them in that red tub out of the way. Yeah, you've got the option to put batteries in these as well, or an external adapter. Because they've got a built-in amplifier, so they are pretty much designed for, like, portable CD players, my pocket TV. I don't think the audio would be any better out of that anyway. Not for <laughs> not plugging it into the um, pocket TV anyway, I don't think it'll make much difference. Uh, and other sort of small devices. But anyway, I've been constipated for the past two days for a change. And now it seems my bowel has gone back to turn camera on, want to go to the toilet. So I'll quickly go do that and we'll be back.